In this video, we are going to discuss about how to design the sequential circuit. The design procedure have the following steps. From the word description and specifications of the desired operation, we are supposed to get the state diagram of the circuit. From the state diagram, we are supposed to obtain the state table. The next step is state reduction to reduce the number of states if possible. Then state assignment if required. After state assignment, choose the type of the flip-flop and the number of flip-flops required for the design. Then obtain the excitation table. From the excitation table, derive the flip-flop input equations and get the output e equations. From the obtained ex equations, draw the logic diagram. So here the design procedure starts with the state diagram. So sometimes the problem statement could be given in the form of the state diagram itself. So now the first step state diagram is there for us already. Now to get the state table from the given state diagram we will see how it happens. The now states are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. From state 0, 0 on input c equal to 0 it, go, it is going to state 0, 0 only because this is input 0 and output is 0. So we write 0, 0 and output is 0. Then 0, 1 on input c equal to 0. 0, 1 on input c equal to 0. C uh, input means numerator we have to verify. 0, 1 on input 0. It is going to 0, 0 and output is 1. From state 1, 0, it is going to 0, 0 on input 1, on input 0. Output is 1. So next state is 0, 0, output is 1. Then comes state 1, 1. It is going to state 0, 0 and output is 1. Now again start from 0, 0 for input 1. So 0, 0 on input c equal to 1. It is going to 0, 1, output is 0. From 0, 1 it is going to 1, 1, output is 0. And from 1, 0 it is going to 1, 0 only again and output is 0. From 1, 1 it is going to 1, 0, output is 0. The state table is given in this fashion. State reduction. So if you observe the state table here, we can observe that 1, 0 and 1, 1 are similar. You can see that 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So, we will uh, eliminate the state 1, 1. So, wherever the next state is 1, 1, we have to replace it with 1, 0. So, here it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, no problem. 0, 1, 1, 1. So, here 1, 1 is there. It has to be replaced with 1, 0. So, B will be replaced with 0. And this is 1, 0. So, no problem. Now, again check if any state reduction is possible. If you observe 0, 1 and 1, 0 are similar. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So both states are similar. 0, 1 and 1, 0 are similar. So we will replace 1, 0 with 0, 1. So first eliminate 1, 0 and, eliminate and replace 1, 0 with 0, 1. So 0, 0 here, 0, 0 here, no problem. And now it is 0, 1 no problem 1 0 this 1 0 should be replaced with 0 1 so 1 is replaced with 0 and 0 is replaced with 1 here now if you observe number of states are 4 initially and we have reduced it to 2 states because it is 4 states we require a and b representations but if you see now we reduced into 2 states only now if you observe that a part it is always 0. So, we are eliminating A completely and we retain only B. So, rewriting the state table in this form. So, you can see that B is 0, 1, the present state and next states on C equal to 0, it is 0 and uh, C equal to 1, it is 1, 1 and output it is uh, 0, 1 when C equal to 0 and uh, C equal to 1, it is 0, 0. So, this is the state table. I am replicating here now. And we have to transform this state table into the other form in order to complete the excitation table actually. 
so if you see here b and c are considered as two inputs that is b as present state and uh, c as external input we will be getting uh, four combinations when b and c are considered as inputs actually of the sequential circuit so when two uh, variables are there four combinations we will get 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so it is nothing but now here next state and output we have to complete for using this state table actually so b is 0 c is 0 b is 0 here c is 0 here so b is 0 so we write b as 0 here now b is 0 c is 1 so b is 1 here so we will write 1 here and b is 1 c is 0 we will get 0 so we write 0 here b is 1 c is 1 and uh, b is 1 here so we write 1 here that is it is going in a zigzag way 0 1 0 1 like this and similarly y also 0 0 1 0 like this we will write and then jb kb we are supposed to complete state table we are converting into excitation table format so in the excitation table we are supposed to get the flip flop inputs using the excitation table of jk we are assuming that jk flip flop will be used in the part of design and because only one variable is there in the present state that is only one bit is there in the state will require only one flip flop for the design part here so jb kb if you see now b like present state is like q of t and next state is like q of t plus 1 so when it is 0 0 it is 0 don't care so fill jb kb as 0 don't care and then when present state and next state are 0 1 it is 1 don't care so we write 1 don't care here and then when it is 1 0 we will get don't care 1 and when it is 1 1 we get don't care 0 get the expressions for jb kb now jb is c and kb is c bar and expression for y also we are supposed to get that is bc bar so we will get the logic diagram like this and uh, for y jb is c so we write jb as c and uh, kb is c bar so we write kb as c bar and uh, y is bc bar so we write we get the combinational circuit for y in this fashion this completes the design of the given problem statement